It's been a long time since I've worn this blazer. I actually remember the last time. It was for a video for this YouTube channel. It's probably one of the first ones I ever posted. It was the night I sold my Fender Custom Shop Telecaster. That guitar meant a lot to me. It was a really classy guitar. It was a tuxedo finish, and I miss it dearly. And, well, today's another really special occasion. Well, special enough for me to want to dress up like that. And I know it's Sunday, and on Sundays we normally talk about guitars that I've sold in the past, and we relive memories, and I do a little bit of story time, and live some nostalgia all over again, and then decide whether or not I would rebuy it. We're not going to be doing that today. Today we're going to be asking an entirely different question. Why the hell didn't I buy this guitar sooner? This guitar is a 2017 ES Les Paul in the VOS gold top finish with P90s and a big speed. I had no idea that this was the guitar I always wanted. In 2014, when I decided I was going to go unconventional as far as my main guitar wasn't going to be a Strat and it wasn't going to be a Telecaster for the time being. I decided I was going to buy the guitar behind me, the Jazzmaster. And when I bought that guitar, the sound in my head was the sound that this guitar makes. And I spent so much money on that Jazzmaster. Different sets of pickups, different wiring, different sets of electronics, pots, capacitors, switches, everything I could. Different amps, pedals. I could go on, on and on. Trying to make that guitar something it just wasn't meant to be. And lo and behold, it ended up being a Gibson that ticked pretty much every box for that classic tone I've always heard in my head. And this is something I've been thinking about for a while, but now I really, really can't avoid it anymore. When I first got that PRS Custom 24, the 10 top, and I really decided I was going to give other brands besides Fender a real shake, I knew that things were going to be different and things were going to change in a good way. You know, as guitar players, where are we are? But it started to make me question my loyalty to Fender that I've had for decades. Everything was Fender. Every sound I wanted, I tried to make a Fender make that sound. And it reminds me of a scene in the movie Fever Pitch. Jimmy Fallon is the manager of a Little League team, and they're talking about his obsession with the Red Sox and how it's kind of interfering with the rest of his life. And the kid has a pretty profound line. You love the Sox, but have they ever loved you back? When you put it like that, I mean, that's kind of how I am with Fender. So, 
I don't know. Maybe this really is the turning point because I've never, I've never felt this way about a guitar that I've gotten this quick. I like a lot of guitars and I have sweet spots for a lot of guitars, but there's never been one that I've played sight unseen and just, I've fallen in love with it, like entirely. <laughs> never be finished with Fender guitars. I think that my undying devotion to them and loyalty is just long since gone. To me now, they're just, they are what they are. They're tools that are very, very handy to have. They're very decent to play and I'll still love a few of them very much. I just don't see myself seeking them out anytime in the near future. But I'd like to give you guys one piece of advice. This does more with just guitars, by the way, but branch out, get out of your comfort zone. Take a chance on something. You really, you never know. You might be so surprised because I cannot express how overwhelmingly happy and surprised I am with this instrument. And if you told me that I would have fallen in love with a guitar that looked like this when I was a kid, a gold top, P90s, a Bigsby, semi-hollow Les Paul, this would be the one that I just immediately fell head over heels over, kind of the way I did for my wife, I would have thought you were crazy. So keep an open mind. Go out, explore. But that's it. That's where we're going to end the video. I got some playing to do. Take it easy, you guys.